Brent Brennan enters his third season as the head coach at San Jose State. After starting primarily underclassmen in Brennan's first two seasons, the Spartans believe a veteran core of players will help continue to lead the program in the right direction. Tamara Brown here in the Mountain West Network studio with the 411 on the San Jose State Spartans as we count down to kickoff. The 2019-2020 Spartans football season was sparked with the announcement of a $40 million renovation that was announced before the kickoff of spring practice. It includes a new facility that will be on the east side of the stadium and will include new locker rooms, coaches' offices, an auditorium, and spectator seating on the 50-yard line. The locker room is done and was unveiled in the beginning of June to the players. This is just the first step for the Spartans in building a consistent winning football program. It started with Gene, Gene Blameyer and, and now it's continuing with Marie. And, um, you know, in four years, the upgrade in facilities at San Jose State has been the most significant in the history of the school. You know, it's, it's cool to see the, the new locker room we got from our last year here and the, the groundbreaking for the new facility that will eventually be in a couple years. But just to see how the future is, is starting to get the ball rolling, it's awesome. The offensive player to watch is quarterback Josh Love. Love, who has improved each season at San Jose State, is coming off a 2018 season where he completed 56% of his passes. In eight games, the fifth-year senior threw for almost 2,000 yards and tallied 14 touchdowns. Josh was one of those players that really invested going into last season. And I think you saw that where he was able to have some real breakout games where he was incredibly efficient and accurate. And um, that's exciting for me to see, like, the, his development. I, I've been taking care of the ball really well all spring. Um, I'm more all-knowing with the offense. Uh, more with details of the routes and obviously with the protections like I mentioned. Um, I think when you, when you start to know what everybody's doing, now everything works, that's when you can uh, improve your game. The defensive player to watch is Ethan Aguayo, who is the Spartans' top returning tackler. Last season, Aguayo and fellow senior Jesse Asuna combined for 199 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, three interceptions, three fumble recoveries, and six pass breakups. Ethan has been productive, you know, the previous season also, just incredibly productive. And he's such a, such a hard worker. Um, he's kind of a quiet leader. You know, he's always putting in the work. He's always, um, you know, kind of pushing the group that way. I think for us, it's can we work together as a team and can we constantly communicate, focusing on the small minor details that will pay off in the long run. The Spartans open the season with back-to-back -back home games against Northern Colorado and Tulsa before hitting the road to play Arkansas and then Air Force. After a five-overtime thriller last season versus Hawaii, the game to have circled on your calendar is the rematch versus the Rainbow Warriors. That's one of those games that I point to with the team, right? Because here you have Hawaii who had a really good football season, a really good team. And here we are going to five overtimes, fighting tooth and nail every step and standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with them through five overtimes, you know, and that was one of those things that I continue to point to with our team, like, like look how close we are, you know, in that game we're that close. So we'll be excited to go over there and play, you know, but I, that's definitely one of the games we point to, one of those fourth quarter overtime games, here we are, let's finish it. And that's a step we got to take this year. Um, it was fun, it was a fun, exciting game. Um, I think it goes to show that we can compete with these teams that are, have gone to bowl games and that we're able to do it, but we just need to finish. Like, um, like we've been putting emphasis on this whole off season is finishing in the fourth quarter, finishing the overtime, whatever it may be. Um, just big emphasis on that. Last year, the Spartans improved their turnover margin from a minus 26 to a plus one. Now, they don't expect it to be that big of a jump this year, but they certainly expect it to be in the plus side again. And the two reasons for really to Spartan fans to be excited, I think are both on the offensive side of the football. Offensive line look bigger and stronger than they have ever been. And then another exciting element on the offense will be the two wide receivers the Spartans have, Trey Walker and Bailey Gaither. Now they rarely were on the field of play together last year, but when they are, they're dynamic, they're quick, they run good routes, and they'll make for some, for some exciting plays downfield. Thank you, Justin, for your expertise on the Spartans. It's the Bears at the Spartans on Thursday, August 29th, with kickoff set for 7 p.m. Pacific time.
This feature has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Tamara Brown. <laughs>